Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for October. I hope you guys are all well. I do wanna take just a quick second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Pisces out there. If it's not resonating, guys, check your other signs and placements, in particular your moon and Venus sign. Your messages could be in those readings. Also keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. So if it is resonating, get in where you fit in. And as always, Pisces, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Pisces? Pisces. It looks like we are being joined by my little stray cat here, Leo. Hi, Leo. All right, so Pisces, you are starting out with the Nine of Wands. You have the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords in the reverse. All right, so I do feel like you have options here, but I'm also feeling like there's a lot of problems. There's been a lot of confusion, and you're just tired of feeling confused, tired of, you know, looking at all the different options about a situation. I feel like somebody that you're involved with has really put you through quite a lot. This would be somebody you likely cut out of your your life in some manner. Um, let me see who's in your energy. Show me who's in Pisces energy. I feel like you would have been angry with this person. Um, yeah, you may not be talking to them currently. Show me who's in Pisces energy. All right, so the person in your energy has the Knight of Swords in the reverse. The King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Hermit in reverse. All right, so what I'm seeing here is that the person that's in your energy, um, this could be somebody who is very concerned about money. They, they're working a lot right now. They're kind of throwing themselves into work. Um, but this is somebody that isn't speaking with you right now. This person could have been untruthful with you in the past. Um, this is why I'm seeing this Queen of Swords in the reverse and this Knight of Swords reverse. You may have had a, a pretty big argument with this person. This, this is somebody, though, that is very concerned about their money, finances, and stability right now. Um, I am seeing that they have had some losses, and they feel that they have lost you. Um, they are, and they know why, with the Hermit in reverse, um, sign of Virgo, by the way. Uh, so very strong Virgo energy here for somebody, but... This person is enlightened as to why it is that this connection did not work out. This is also somebody who is, their masculine and feminine sides are not very well balanced right now. Um, let me see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between Pisces and this person. Okay, so you're viewing the connection differently. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So with the Wheel of Fortune, things are moving in your favor, whether you're aware of it or not. The person that's in your energy has a choice to make with regard to love. And they haven't been very truthful with you. So this could have been what's made you angry or upset. But regardless, this is moving in your favor. I feel like you're trying to jumpstart your life, to move your life forward. You're tired of dealing with whatever this person's energy is. So let me see what's affecting this energy. Show me what's affecting the connection between Pisces and this person. The Nine of Cups. You both would rather be with each other. Interesting. You see each other as wish fulfillment. But you're both right now very focused on getting what you want. Let me see, um, let me see the outcome. The world in reverse. Yeah, this isn't over. This isn't over. Um, with the world in reverse, there's a cycle that has not quite closed out. I am seeing that there could have been um, there could have been a choice between two for the person that is in your energy here. So, all right, bottom of the deck is the three of swords in the reverse. 
This is underlying energy, and it does tell me that there is healing that is taking place after something, after heartbreak, basically, after a very painful experience. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Nine of Wands here? Because I feel like you don't trust this person. You don't trust them at all. I do feel like you are trying to connect more with your higher spirit. Page of Swords in the reverse, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, so this this lack of success in this connection is actually working in your favor, um, whether you know it or not. And I don't feel like you do know that or that you do believe that. I also feel like you're tired of dealing with somebody who omits truth. Um, they may not even lie to you directly, but they are not telling you everything here. Um, I don't feel like there's communication between you and this person currently. I'm hearing liar, liar, pants on fire for somebody. All right, we have the six of cups reversed, and we have these interesting, we have the five of swords in the reverse. So there's definitely changes. These are two fives. Fives are generally about changes. Um, you may have another person who's come into your energy that is, you know, an option for you because you definitely have options here. Um, I'm also seeing that you have the option of maybe stepping out of any form of ego, but you're avoiding conflict. Um, you might, you would probably like to resolve the conflict with this person. If you could have your wish you would not be in conflict with this person. I can see that. Um, if you have gone through a very painful experience with this person, and it looks like you have, I do feel like you've learned the lessons from the past, but your heart is opening towards love. You're softening, basically. So let me see, um, because I, I feel like you don't feel that things are over between you and this person, but you're just tired of the way things are, are going with this person. So let's see why the Queen of Swords is in reverse. Ah, the Empress. Yeah, the Sun and the Empress. So you're seated in the Empress energy. You've put your guard up, you cut this person out, and now you are seated in the Empress energy. Um, it's like you feel that you see this person more clearly than you ever have before, and you're very much focused on your own happiness, and I do feel like you're you're seated in a good energy. You know your value and self-worth. You're allowing things to come to you. You're not chasing anything down. So I, I think you're seated in a pretty good energy and it's because you did cut this person out, you put your guard up and you have very strong boundaries right now. So let's look at this person's energy. Spirit wise, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Swords. They wanna talk to you. Ever since this connection has ended, they want to talk to you. They're also aware that they're, they're very clear that there was no stability in this connection. This is somebody um, who may have had a choice between two, like I said earlier. They definitely have very, um, they definitely have very, uh, a big choice to make with regard to love. Now, I will tell you that this person feels as if the two of you were led together. They feel as if you were a, a soulmate. So they definitely want to talk to you. They want to bring clarity into the situation. And I do feel that if they were lying to you in the past or omitting the truth, they're willing to come forward with the truth now. This is somebody who is working very hard because they may have had a financial loss as well. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Two of Coins reversed and the Death card. Yeah, so they're focused on their stability um, because they have been very unbalanced, particularly financially ever since the ending of this connection. Let me look at the bottom energy. This is a long-term connection with the Ten of Pentacles here. This is a very long-term connection. Um, I do feel that they're, 
their they were blocked from understanding or gaining the information that they needed. And they feel as if you are not willing to willing to reconcile with them. And it doesn't look like right now you are. You may feel that things aren't over, but I don't feel like you're willing to reconcile right now. That reconciliation is being blocked. Now, there could be family or, or close friends that's blocking this reconciliation as well. This person does feel that you are their person, though, their divine partner. Uh, if they didn't know it before the ending of this connection, they certainly do know it now. I definitely see a lack of communication, although they do want to communicate. But they are also receiving, receiving advice from either family or close friends here. And, though, and they're not in favor of this connection coming back together either. So there's, there's somebody here that's blocking this connection a little bit. Let me see the energy between the two of you. Yeah, Queen of Cups reversed. You're not happy with this person. King of Cups reversed. So you do feel that they are your divine partner, though. And the Page of Pentacles. This person is going to send you a text or reach out to you in some form or fashion. Um, I do feel like you do have deep feelings for this person. But this you may be feeling like this person is more of a karmic versus a divine partner. Um, they feel opposite. They feel that the two of you were are are supposed to be together. You're both holding back feelings, though, but you are majorly holding back feelings. And I feel like it's just because you're tired of not getting the truth. You're tired of things, you know, not working out between the two of you as a result. And so you you're kind of emotionally unavailable to this person. You're trying to jumpstart your life and move your life forward, but you're going to hear from them. Let's see why this Nine of Cups is here. Ah, they're manifesting you. See, they feel like you are their wish fulfillment. Could be dealing with a Gemini. All right, so we have the Hangman. And we have the magician. So you're actually feeling more empowered. Um, even though you're you're avoiding fighting with this person. And I do feel like you would like to resolve things. But you're waiting about that. You're waiting, you know, with regard to any of that. You're, it's like you've kind of put this person on the back burner. And you're looking at what is in your best interest. You're walking away from things that don't serve you so that you... Well, let's let's be blunt. You've cut out anything that's not serving you. You didn't just walk away. You cut it out um, in an effort to kind of jumpstart your life and start things moving in a more positive direction. And I do believe that, you know, you made that decision um, more intellectually than emotionally, which is unusual for a Pisces. Pisces are very emotional Um I mean, you're a water sign, so that makes sense. Now, the person in your energy is working on their stability. They're working on their money, and they're manifesting money. They're manifesting stability here as well. But this is somebody that does feel that the two of you are supposed to be together. Let me look at the outcome. Show me the outcome for Pisces and this person. The moon in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now you have it in the upright between the two of you. The Two of Swords. And the Star card in reverse. So I do feel like a decision is going to be made here. Um, you both are feeling like there's unfinished business. Now, I see a decision being made to reveal something, that something that's been hidden is going to be revealed. That may kind of um, put you in a little bit of stuck energy, but I wouldn't stress too hard about it because I feel like, Pisces, you're, you're kind of sitting in a good energy right now. Um, but something here is going to be revealed. It will bring on a little bit of stagnant energy, 
I don't really see you trying to move this forward, but this person's going to. And I feel like I feel like they're going to reveal that to you. They're going to reveal their feelings and emotions. You may also find out that there is somebody, either a close friend or a family member, that may have, you know, been blocking this reconciliation as well. With the star card in reverse, whatever this is that's revealed is causing a lot of emotional imbalance for this person. It's making them feel that that is that that they're crushed i mean it's like their hopes are crushed here um because they're they're dealing with a lot of loss and it's like they're they're beginning to see things far more clearly like the light bulb got turned on and i don't think they like what they're seeing when that happened i feel like this is your decision so bottom of the deck is the knight of wands in the reverse that is underlying energy. You may feel that you're you're dealing with the player here. I do feel like they're you're you're not really interested in talking with this person at this particular time, and I do feel like that decision is being made because of something that comes to light at the end of the week. Even though you don't feel that things are over between the two of you, I feel like you are starting to open up a little bit. And then something is revealed that causes you to just put the brakes on Pisces. And this person's going to be crushed. They're, they're going to be crushed because they do feel that the two of you should be together. They feel that you're a soulmate. Um, and they feel like, you know, if they could be with anybody, it would be you. They're manifesting you. So let's see. Spirit, I'm pulling hidden truth for the sign of Pisces, please. For the sign of Pisces. Yeah, I want to feel that way again. Yeah, somebody's reminiscing. And it may be you as well. Um, because I do see that you have feelings and emotions for this person. But it's just that they they keep secrets. They, they don't tell the complete truth. All right, I hope this has been helpful for you, Pisces. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.